Hey guys, welcome to a brand new to video. Hope you guys are all doing great. In this video, we're going to be talking about some speculation for Resident Evil 9, some rumors and leaks. So if that interests you guys, please drop a like, subscribe if you guys are new, and I hope you guys don't miss out this video. I really encourage you guys to watch till the end. Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down below, and without further ado guys, enjoy the video. Hey guys, welcome to a brand new YouTube video. My name is Michael, and I hope you guys definitely do enjoy this video. Today we're going to be talking about Resident Evil 9, rumors, leaks, and theories. And uh, I hope you guys definitely do enjoy. I'm going to give you guys my honest thoughts and opinions, because I've seen some other rumors that I want to kind of debunk, because this is just something that I don't think that Resident Evil will go in. And I'll give you my honest opinions later down the video. But today, guys, let's just talk about uh the leaks and rumors so resident evil 9 started development alongside resident evil 3 and this is according to uh the leaks now i'm not a developer when i say this but one resident evil project is not always being worked on at one time and what i mean is resident evil 4 remake resident evil Th revelations 3 or outrage and also resident evil reverse is all being worked on at this current time of this recording uh we don't know if resident evil outrage it's apparently been cancelled from a lot of rumors and leaks uh it has been cancelled according to a lot of sources and but it's been the uh, it's the uh, nintendo switch exclusive that's why i haven't covered it here extensively on the channel lately and uh resident evil 9 will be called apocalypse and we don't know if that's the development name for it it's the code name because a lot of games believe it or not they have code names for development uh you know we have a lot of games i can think back to the call of duty series i can think back to the uh battlefield series a lot of those games had uh code names when they were being worked on and when people leaked it that's what they used um it is a part of a three game trilogy especially with the ending to resident evil 8 if you guys have seen it it kind of leaves on a cliffhanger uh especially with ethan's daughter you know rose uh taking up the mantle in the next game maybe she's gonna be the playable character we don't know yet at this current time uh but it is part of a trilogy and i think after nine we are definitely gonna be ending off the resident evil numbered cycle what i mean is they're gonna be focused more on games that have uh roman let's put it like this uh it's gonna have different titles uh i heard this a while ago through leaks uh that resident it could be like uh resident evil damnation i don't know something like damnation or da damnation or something like that they're, they're not gonna be focusing on number titles anymore after the ninth entry apparently according to the leaks and it will finally conclude ethan's story i mean also at the end of the resident evil 8 we did get that this is the father's ending this is the final story for the ending of the father something like that i can't really remember at the top of my head right now at this current moment uh we know that chris redfield and hound wolf squad have essentially gone rogue uh they had a pretty big role in resident evil 8 and uh you know especially com them coming into contact with the bsa uh, a lot of unanswered uh, questions we still have from that game you know chris stated that the bsa is no longer trustworthy and and is is rife with co corruption i'm stuttering to say that but yeah that it's it's filled with corruption and uh pretty much it's not trustworthy i mean i think that will be a big big uh point of interest in the next resident evil entry which is nine uh i've already said this but resident evil 9 will probably be released in 2024 2025 i don't know if i said that already but resident evil 9 will be released in 2024 or 2025 it has had the longest development cycle which has started with resident evil 3 which is pretty crazy now i'm going to be giving you guys my honest thoughts and opinions i've seen this one rumor going around where uh basically resident evil 9 will go in a silent hill-esque theme which doesn't really make sense because we just got resident evil 8 and essentially what i'm talking about is resident evil 8 was more folklore and it kind of took took the resident evil f formula and kind of sp took a spin on silent hill essentially now silent hill is a beloved series you know owned by cat uh what is it konami you know it sucks that the freaking silent hill games are so hard to play nowadays you know a lot of people use emulations which is pretty okay in my opinion but um 
you know if they took this kind of formula with the silent hill and add it into a folklore town by the way this is what they want to do they want to add a town this is apparently the leaks resident evil 9 will be uh in a town where it's uh it has folklore and creatures and stuff i'm just like dude like this is not resident evil right when i think of resident evil i think of a game that is going to be centered on bioweapons or trying to escape or you know these beloved characters that i grew up watching and stuff like that you know i i don't really think that's just something that resident evil 9 would go uh would go in that direction right i'm i'm sh i'm i sure hope capcom knows what they're doing what their fans love and what the best thing for it is um but one thing i do know is i do not want to see the game in first person anymore man like i love resident evil but i think third person should just go back to what it is you know that's what made resident evil great and that's what resident evil should stay as it's not a first person shooter it's a third person shooter it should have always stayed that way and uh i don't know that's just me. I, I know I'm giving a hot take on that. I definitely do agree that Resident Evil 7 was a good game and Resident Evil 8 was a downgrade from that. But uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think down in this, the comment section below. And other than that, guys, I mean, that's pretty much going to have to wrap up today's video. I hope you guys definitely did enjoy and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.